I'm not good at English. I feel uncomfortable when I speak in English. I feel low confident and shy when I speak in English. He or she speaks better than me. Hello everyone, welcome back to the another video. My name is Renu and today in this video we are going to address a most common problem. That is, I feel shy when I speak in English. Don't skip this video. If you skip this video, you will miss something essential. Because in this video, I am going to help you out. How to overcome, how to remove shyness when we speak in English. So, watch this video till the end. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So, let's start with why we feel shy. Why actually we feel shy when we speak in English? Beginning with first point, I would say you have already you have already said in your mind that you are not a good speaker. You are not a good speaker and for sure you are going to make mistake. Right? You have already fit, you have already said that in your mind. Now as you have mindset like that, then definitely you are going to act in this way so you have uh, built that mindset that you are not a good speaker and if you start speaking for sure you will make a lot of mistake just because you have created that mindset for this you really need to change your mindset first of all you need to change your mindset that this is not something which is true it is just your perception it is just your illusion right the reality is something else you need to change your mindset first what you all do you already said to your mind that you are not uh, you are not a good speaker and you will make mistake and just because of that confusion just because of that rush for sure you do mistake all right so you need to change that mindset first that this is just illusion it is not true what we think okay and then you need to do something productive something realistic so you can start with these things which i'm going to tell you you can do all the things which i'm going to tell you so that you can remove your shyness okay and i'm really sure if you apply all the things whatever i'm going to tell you you will find yourself that you are not being shy when you speak in English. Okay, so the first thing what you can do, uh, if you feel shy when you speak in English in front of other, then just stop talking to other people for uh, minimum for one month or minimum for 15 days. Stop talking to anyone. If you are a beginner, stop talking to other people. If you feel shy okay uh, in your beginner label and try to talk to yourself start talking to yourself alone there would be no one who can laugh at you who can find your mistake who can judge you right because these are the things you get uh, I mean you feel fear of right you feel fear of judgment uh, if somebody is going to figure out your mistake and criticize you and if somebody is going to uh, like somebody is going to laugh at you these all things they like they make you feel hesitate or shy right so do this thing what I'm telling you start talking to yourself for a separate period of time then you can go with other activity just try it out try to talk to yourself alone minimum for 15 days you can just try this activity okay there will be no one who can judge you and laugh at you or anything else which can make uh, which can make you demotivated so first thing you can do this start talking to yourself whenever you feel uh, whenever you get time alone for yourself start talking to yourself take any random talk uh, topic and then you can start talking about the topic to yourself you can just uh, imagine that you are telling to someone you can just imagine that but in reality you are talking alone okay and next thing what i would say 
if you feel um, you know what people will say if i'm going to talk them what they will say or they will going to laugh at me they will going to demotivate demotivate me so first you need to remove this thought from your mind that people going to give judgment it should be positive or it should be something like don't create expectation in your brain don't create expectation ever don't forget that you are in your beginner level so it is very obvious that you are going to make mistake right and mistakes will help you to build your status in english language mistake is the only thing that will help you to be a good speaker so you cannot ignore it it is very clear you will make mistake if you are a beginner and don't think about don't uh, worry about others judgment now you know very well people will always uh, they will be always talking whatever you are doing so don't have that expectation that they they are going to admire me they are going to give me compliment no don't uh, don't have that expectations okay just uh, remove that thought that people they are going to laugh at me if they laugh let them laugh you should not worry about it at all because you are in your a uh, process of learning the language you should not uh, you should not have worries about others mindset others uh, you know opinion what they talk because they don't know what you are going through right you are in your beginner level and you really don't know really don't need to think you really de- uh, don't need to think about others opinion okay or judgment if they laugh let them laugh just remove this thought from your mind that people will laugh if they laugh it's okay it shouldn't be uh, a thought in your brain remove this thought from your mindset now second thing you can do and third thing i would say if you really want to have that improvement if you really want to have that improvement you need to be habitual you need to be habitual of this language right and how you can create that habit of speaking english you just need to create the environment now most of you say that we don't have environment i know we are indians so most of us don't have that english environment where we can speak in english where we can learn this language by the help of environment but at least we can create the environment we have our brain and we can use our, our brain right we can create environment by ourselves now how how can we create the environment whatever you do in your daily activity try to convert that all the thing in english now what i mean to say is if you listen songs in your mother tongue try to listen in english if you watch movies serials reading books whatever you do try to do that in english that all daily activity if you convert that in english will help you to create that environment it will help you to create that environment and just because of that environment you could be speak uh, you would be able to speak in english right because environment is the most important thing it makes a journey easier for you so you can do this third thing you can do is try to convert all the activity whatever you do in your regular life do this all in english listening song watching movie or any any content you are consuming that should be in english and try to consume more and more try to watch listen try to consume more and more content in english only so that you can change your mindset so that your subconscious mind subconscious mind should be active in that way your subconscious mind should be habitual of english if you have proper and sufficient environment your subconscious mind will help you so much it will work automatically at that time you really did not have that pressure to think to create everything will be happening automatically if you have environment and your subconscious uh, subconscious mind will be habitual of it 
so you will uh, for for you it will be really easier to speak in english just so try to create environment by changing your daily activities in english okay and other thing what you can do whatever you do, uh, you do i mean if you are a working profession or you are a student housewife or any other what activity you do regularly if you uh, go to coaching you talk to your friend if you do house chores or any other activity reg in regular life try to talk while doing the activity that what i am doing right what i am doing whatever activity you are doing try to talk while doing the activity for me when uh, when i when i started my english learning journey i used to talk while cooking really i used to talk while cooking i used to talk while uh, like whatever i am doing so you can do this thing whatever you do daily activity because whatever we do regularly subconsciously we do that subconsciously we do that activity because we are habitual we don't need to be conscious about that we don't need to you know be alert about that so we don't need to carefully do that thing particular activity what we do regular so subconsciously automatically we are habitual to do that so activity will be done automatically you don't have to worry about it whether we are going to do wrong or not but apart from this you can just continue with your speaking as i'm telling you i used to do cooking and and just because of this i mean with the cooking i also talked to myself i used to talk to myself also you can do this it is like multitasking but multitasking is really not something that exists but you can really give it a try it working it is really working it works well whatever you do any activity in your daily life if you're going to uh, shop in market you can talk to yourself yes i'm going to market and i'm going to buy this and that i'm going to meet my friend you can just talk what activity you are doing about the activity okay if you are in your office you can talk in your office so whatever activity you are doing you can talk while doing the activity this is clear now you can talk about daily activities and the next thing i would say you can do recording if you have proper time and you want to practice your english speaking skills so take any topic and try to read it try to have that proper research about the topic proper information about the topic then speak it out either you can record in the camera if you don't face i mean if you feel fe feel fear or if you scared if you feel uh, like hesitation or shy when you feel cam uh, when you face camera then you can go with the audio you can record yourself in audio if you are not able to record video okay so take a topic research about it and at that time you would have all the proper information about the topic and you would be able to explain your ideas so you can do this you can record yourself in camera or in audio whichever you will are comfortable you will comfortable with you can do any one of them with camera or audio you can go with this would be really um, amazing technique for you if you record yourself if you collect the information and then you speak it out it would be really nice practice you can do this okay so last thing last technique i would mention here now everything it starts from our home it starts from our family okay from our daily activities so try to start your journey if you are beginner try to start your journey from your family talk to your family in english small phrases like give me this take this i want to have food i want to go to market i want my dinner small phrases you can use in your regular life and you can start with your family there is nothing wrong there is nothing odd every beginner i would say even me i also did it i used to do it i used to use small phrases in my regular life when i started my journey 
so you can do this thing you cannot just uh, feel shy with your family or if they are saying something anything you can ignore ignore it right because whatever you do any people any person in the world whatever any person is doing in the world that is something different i mean most of the people they don't have courage to do that people always try to demotivate that because they are not aware how much the value of the skill you know you know very well the value of english language you know very well the value of english language right so you can you can take this risk if your family somewhere like for 40 percent if they are not supporting you it is really fine there is no problem but still you can give it a try so you can start your english learning journey in your beginner level from your family you can use small phrases and believe me whatever i've shared in this video these all techniques are working really well for you if you try these all techniques minimum for one month they will give you such a nice result so you can just try it and these all techniques are really brilliant and you should try it and you will find yourself that you you are not a shy person now and you are speaking very well so if you like the information whatever i've shared in this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and give it a like i know it is kind of a little lengthy video but the information is really nice okay you can give it a like if you like the information and make sure to subscribe this channel so that you can get notification whenever i upload next video on this channel and please share your opinion in the comment section thank you so much let's meet in the next video